It's not the strongest squad that Roy Hodgson has had since taking over as England manager. Andy Carroll, Wayne Rooney and Ashley Cole were ruled out before the start of England's World Cup qualifying campaign. And since Friday's 5-0 win over Moldova, John Terry and Theo Walcott are to sit out Tuesday's encounter with Ukraine at Wembley. Hodgson has drafted in Raheem Sterling, Adam Lalana and Jake Livermore to make up the numbers. Now that Theo Walcott's had to go home and Daniel Sturridge is still being monitored, although we think he's going to be OK, it was a good opportunity, I thought, to invite some younger players to come in and be a part of the atmosphere. I still think we have enough players to deal with the game. We have more than the 11, certainly, that we need. But it's good, I think, when you have a chance to invite these young players just to come and be around the team for a short period of time. Midfielder Lalana caught the England manager's attention, despite being part of a Southampton team who have lost their opening three Premier League games. Lalana's a player that I've known about and watched even when Southampton in the first division because as a club coach he's, he's been on a radar of players to watch and you know possibly attempt to buy so I've known about him for some while but it's it's good that he's confirmed if you like what we've always thought that he is a talent. Lalana is unlikely to be involved for Tuesday's meeting of the Euro 2012 co-hosts neither is Sterling but if he wants to be part of England's future club captain Stephen Gerrard knows the 17 year old is going the right way about it. The impact he's made has been sensational really, he's been one of our shining lights, you know the results that we've had so far this season haven't been good enough but he's still stood up and his performance has been really good. Um, I think the important <coughs> thing now is that he keeps his feet on the ground, you know, keeps learning and keeps trying to find the consistency in his game but I think it won't be very long before he's in this setup for real, where you know the manager's going to be picking him, you know, as a regular because he is that kind of talent. I shall make it clear to him that you know basically I'm, I'm not bringing him in with a view necessarily to playing him now. I'm bringing him in more because there might be a, a time in the future when not only did he feature as a substitute, he might even be breaking his way into the team. Those who missed out this time around have a race against time to be fit for the next set of qualifiers. England take on San Marino and Poland early next month.